Uh, hey everybody, um, this is just a quick video of a little experiment I did on one of my transmitters for my uh, coaxials. Um, it was an East Guy Llama, and uh, I just wanted to test it that if I could wire this to a JST, uh, not a JST, a um, Dean's connector, <clears throat> and see if it would run on a LiPo battery. And the first thing I tried, I tried it on a 7.4 volt. Uh, it didn't work. It it only lit up a little bit, like to the red, so I knew it was dead. And um, then I tried soldering on a Dean's connector, and it works. And it gives me just about full power. Um, it's not fully charged. I've been using it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show you what I did and how you can do it um, to your transmitter. And it'll work. It'll work about just on all of them and it's really simple really easy really quick um all right so i'm going to show you this is what the back of mine looked like um, i'm not finished designing it but i only did it from mostly the point to see if it would work so i could do it on some of my, my better transmitters um all right well here's the battery i was using um yeah you can see that I soldered on. It's a little messy because I didn't have any shrink wrap. Um, but I've got the Dean's connector, the mail plug, and I wired it to the red and black wire, the red on this side, and the black over here. And that will allow me to have a negative and positive power on the Dean's connect. So that's what that'll do. And I can connect it to my battery and just run it on a light bulb. So it's much easier, much money saving, because you don't have to buy those batteries all the time, and they die out a lot faster. <clears throat> so it only takes about one charge, and you can do about ten flights on it. So that's good. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Tools you'll need for this experiment, you'll need a soldering iron, some uh, solder, Preferably the thin stuff. This is a uh, 6337 solder. Um, you'll also need a pair of wire cutters, which I don't have here right now. Um, and then what else? You need either shrink wrap or electric tape. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Oh, and a screwdriver. Philip said. So I'm gonna undo the screws. I'm gonna show you what I did. There's only four screws, so it's actually a pretty quick thing. Um, yeah, it's really simple. That's why I did it. Gotta make one of those automatic screwdrivers that Nightflyer has. Okay, now, here you can see there is a red wire cut from here, and then there is a black wire that I cut over here. Okay, so, it's hard to see, but, let me see if I can look. There's a little tiny black wire sticking it, oh, okay, there, it's right there. Okay, um... So what I did was I cut I cut those two wires, and I took um, what was left of them from this thing going all the way up to here, and I soldered them to a Dean's connector basically, and then I ran it off 11.1 lipo connector, a lipo battery, sorry, and that's how you do that. So, and by the way, don't touch any of these switches. I was experimenting with them, and they screw up your transmitter, so don't touch them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. And this is what the transmitter looks like, just in case you're wondering. Oops, what's that doing there? And this will fall out. It's your trainer switch, so be careful with it. Um, and I'll show you where that goes. The trainer switch goes in here. 
Let's see if it gets held up like that. <coughs> Alright, um, so I'm going to put it back together. Um, and make sure you give yourself a lot of wire. Um, because sometimes if you make a mistake, it's a pain in the ass to solder again, so just remember that. I'll show you the battery once I'm done with this. Simple thing to do, really quick, that's why I did it. Okay, here's the battery. It's a 11.1 volt, 18 milliamp hour battery. And, and I used a uh, male um, connector. What's that? So, just something that you can do to make your life easier. Not always going out to buy batteries. Um, yeah.